This garbage truck is on its way to Payatas, Manila's main district for waste disposal. Home to the largest landfill in the city, it has long been a symbol of poverty. But now a landmark project is underway to change that reputation. A first for Southeast Asia, the methane produced here by the garbage is being converted into biogas. This rubbish produces around 300,000 tons of carbon credits every year. That's enough to offset carbon emissions of around 20,000 vehicles in the streets of Manila. Well, this is our plan. But that is just a fraction of biogas's full potential. Uh, we have lots of uh, garbage, uh, I mean, dump sites and landfills in the Philippines, and they do not uh, harness the energy from the uh, landfills. If we replicate this kind of project in those areas, they will be more independent. They will not uh, require um, energy from conventional sources like coal, which depletes our, uh, our resources and uh, harms our environment. Many Filipinos often steal from the power grid because the Philippines has one of the most expensive electricity rates in the world. Producers of biogas say it could make power up to 300% cheaper than current supplies. And that would make a huge difference for those like June de la Vega, who makes just two U.S. dollars a day recycling rubbish. If we can pay much less, it will take that burden off our shoulders. Paying less each month gives us an opportunity to save a little too. Recycling has long been a way of life in Payatas, but this scheme is now showing how rubbish can also be the source of cheaper, cleaner energy. Jamal Alingdogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.